What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. In today's video, we are going through which role is best for you. Now, if you are a long time player and you've played through all of these roles, this video is kind of pointless for you. But if you're a new player, then you've probably got quite a few questions for each role and you're probably not sure which one to go down. And that is fully understandable. We were all there at one point. So in this video, I will be going through all four roles, telling you exactly what each one of these roles do and telling you how it complements a certain playstyle. If you are a pro player and you are still wanting to sit through this video and also put in a comment section down below any additional information you have based on these roles which is not included within this video. The first role is the collector role and this role requires you to go to different points of locations within the world of Red Dead Online and find collectibles. There are no missions for you to do within this role, it's just whenever you feel like it you can go into free roam, explore, find collectibles and you can come back to Madame Nazar to sell these collectibles. If you are wanting to go down this role, Rockstar wants you to go to Madame Nazar are by collector maps and then head out and complete those collector maps but anyone in their right mind will not be doing that because there is a collector map available which includes every single location for every single collectible item if you would like to see this map i'll leave a link in the description down below and that is what players use so they don't have to spend money buying collector maps from madame nazar because we could just follow this map for free and we can make a lot more money if you are looking to make money within red dead then this is the role to go down the role itself is very cheap all you need to buy are two main essentials and that is the Pennington field shovel which costs $350 and the other one is the metal detector which costs $700 in a total of $1,050 but the money that you can make back through this roll is higher than any other roll by completing sets such as the coin set you can get yourself $540 and that only takes about an hour to complete that already near enough pays for the metal detector and there are still so many other sets that you can do if you want to spend a couple hours playing this game you can easily make yourself a couple thousand dollars here and there and if you're going to carry on doing this every single day you will rapidly see a massive increase in the amount of money that you have that money can be used to buy all the additional stuff that you can get within the collector role which is optional and not really essential to the role itself or you can go off buy other stuff within other roles or even just buy the stuff that you can get like ability cards weapons clothing or anything like that next up we have the bounty hunter role and this involves you doing missions the first lot of missions you can do is head over to any bounty board and you can find this located on your map you head over to the bounty board it will give you three different bounties you'll have a tier one a tier two and also a tier three the tier ones are by far the easiest ones to complete tier two slightly get a bit harder and tier threes are the hardest what you might find is that with a tier one it only requires you to get one person with a tier two you may have to get two people sometimes it's still one with a tier three you can get one two maybe even more pushing up to even a four or even a six the other type of mission that you can do whilst going through a bounty hunter role is you can also do legendary bounties Bounties. Now these were very big when they first came out because they were part of the weekly update. Now if you sign up for the bounty hunter role you can just get all 10 at the exact same time and you can pick which ones you want to go through. But the real highlight to the bounty hunter role is that's the only role that gives out gold. You can complete daily challenges for the collector, bounty hunter, trader and also moonshiner which does give out some gold. But the bounty hunter will give out gold for every single mission you do. So that's any missions from the bounty board and that's every mission from a legendary bounty. And the longer it takes you to do this mission as long long as you complete it within the time limit the more gold you'll be able to get so if you are someone that's looking to unlock the roles as quickly as possible what i would suggest is going through the bounty hunter role first that way you can build up gold by completing bounties and then you could buy the collector which will result in you having a lot of money and then the last roles you want to head for is the trader and then finally the moonshiner the next role up is the trader and for this role what you need to do is hunt hunt as many different animals as possible bring them back to your camp donate them to cribs and cribs will make goods in the background there is also a resupply mission which takes five minutes to do normally you have to go to a set location steal the supplies and bring it back to your camp sometimes what you'll need to do is hunt a specific animal you will then trade that animal for some supplies and then you'll take those supplies back to your camp and that's all you have to do for the trader role this type of role is there for those that enjoy hunting within the game or for those that enjoy the game but don't want to put a crazy grind in just to enjoy the content as well as the new content that comes with future updates you can spend about 30 minutes hunting and you'll have a full bar of animal parts maybe Maybe even some left over. After doing a resupply mission which takes about 5 minutes to do, you then just have to wait for cribs to make goods whilst you go off and do whatever it is you want to do. It doesn't require you to focus on the role itself, like the bounty hunter, the only way that you make money is by getting bounties and delivering them. Like the collector, the only way you make money is by finding the collectibles and selling them. With the trader, once you've set everything up, you don't have to do anything else apart from wait. And as soon as you've waited a certain amount of time, you will then have to do a delivery mission and that is where you get your money. And then the final 
final role we have is the Moonshiner role. And to access this Moonshiner role, it's different to the other roles. The Collector, Bounty Hunter, and Trader you can access as soon as you have 15 gold bars and you can buy into those roles. With the Moonshiner, it is a tier 2 to the Trader, which means you must have bought into the Trader and you must have got to rank 5 or done at least one cell mission. As soon as you've either got to rank 5 or done a cell mission, the Moonshiner will be unlocked. And then you need to spend another 25 gold bars to access it. With the Moonshiner, it is an upgrade to the Trader. Just like the Trader, all you need to do is get animal parts, do a resupply mission, and then you could just leave the Trader. With the Moonshiner, it takes next to no effort to set up, and it makes a lot more money. For the Moonshiner, all you need to do is head towards your Moonshine Shack. You go down, you talk to Marcel, you buy the strongest Moonshine you can, and you also add flavor into it. As soon as you've done that, all you need to do is wait for Marcel to create that Moonshine. As soon as Marcel is finished, the last thing you need to do is a Moonshine delivery. The delivery is slightly different with the Trader. With the Trader, you can take the wagon as quickly as possible wherever you want to go, as long as it doesn't kill the horse or destroy the wagon. With the Moonshiner, you need to be more careful in what you do. If you go too quickly around a corner or you go off road, you will actually spill some of the Moonshine. And if you start to spill Moonshine, it means you can't sell as much Moonshine. And that results in getting less money and also less XP. But when looking at the setup for the Moonshine role, it is by far the easiest thing to do. And it's the one that I've been playing over the last couple of weeks. What I do is set up the Moonshine role, buy the strongest Moonshine, add flavoring, I put my controller down and I just walk away from my console to do other things in my life. After an hour of waiting, doing whatever it is I need to do, I will then come back to my console, pick my controller up, accept the delivery and I will complete that delivery and that will give me round about $226. But anyway guys, those are all the roles we currently have within Red Dead and you should know exactly what they involve you doing and you should know by your playstyle what you currently like to do in Red Dead and where you should probably head towards. But anyway guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya